Welcome everybody back to my channel and anybody that's new, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe and let's get started. I just wanted to do mention that I did take an extra couple pictures, some of my crafts. I started doing extra pictures since you can't post pictures on YouTube that some people ask questions about. You can always private message me on the Crafty Shopper on Facebook and I also put extra pictures as this picture will be done there. So let's get started. E6000 is the glue I use. It's my preference. You can use wood glue. I wouldn't suggest hot glue sticks. I would suggest, I suggest E6000. E I bought it at, you can buy it at Walmart. You can buy it at Marshalls or not Marshalls, um, Michaels at the, any crafting store I think would carry that. Now, I did put them in sections, so this is going to be the front of the barn. I'm going to do more of a traditional barn than uh, than the old-fashioned kind of barn. I kind of played around with them for a couple days, how I wanted to set it up, and so I found a design that I think that will work really well. I'm going to be adding a few different components to this to make it work. So I've put the, laid them out of the front entrance. Now... I put them in sections, as you can see, they are numbered. So when I glue Django blocks together, I like them to be really straight and flat, solid pieces. So this would be the middle part where the little window will be, where the, I'm gonna put the rooster, is eight Django blocks. So I will glue these all, make sure they're super straight. This is the top part, six blocks up here, four on each side, 12 and 12. Why I do this, like I said, to make sure they're straight, flat, and once I glue those together, I will move them over. Now, I'm gonna show you because I wouldn't glue these ones on first. So when you do your six here, glue them level. That would be your next step. When you have the eight glued, it should pop right in there and then you bring over the 12 because the line here is a little bit off so you want to just make sure that you have it in there there will be doors but that will be on a different step and then you just piece it all together so i am going to glue these Together with E6000 glue, I am going to let them dry probably overnight. And then we will move on to the roof. There's a little bit different um, materials, like I said. But once we get, uh, once I get all this done, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I finally put the pieces together and I glued them so as you can see it's glued together now we're going to make the exact same one but we're going to do for the back of the barn uh just to show you if you did if you did that you can do the same pattern or you could just do the Jenga blocks like straight down so all the blocks go down to the back you don't need this because this is like kind of the top where the rooster I'm going to put is so you can just make them straight down or you can keep the same style because they will fit as you can see, I'm just gonna show you. You know, you can do it this way as well, but it's just easier if you could just glue them all straight down and just make sure that they're the exact same pattern so it hooks onto the back of the barn properly when we start putting the roof on. So let's get that done. Make the back of the barn and then we'll move to the sides of the barn and then to the roof. Okay, so what I did is I finished, I did the back. I did fill it in. You could do kind of an outline if you don't want to have the back closed to use so many Jangos, but I did the outline to the back. So there's the front. And this will be on the back of it. Well, I should do it upside down this way. Oops. So what I did was I did take extra Jangos. I did... 18 and then I did 12 so they will be going up and down this way and they will be on the side I'll show you how to do it I'm just going to place them so you know what I'm 
what I'm uh, doing, but you won't glue them on the outside. So you do that times two. So I'm just gonna move this here. I actually found this glue because I found using these Jenga blocks because my Dollar Tree never has them. I think I bought one box ever and I didn't use the ones from Dollarama. Uh, these are the ones. I don't know if anybody's used them before. For some reason, my E6000 wasn't drying really good and not on the sides, but on the top. So I ended up picking this Well Bond. It's from Rona and I believe Lowe's has it too. And it's pretty inexpensive and it works really good. It dries super clear and it's supposed to be super tough and it dries really fast. I found better than uh, E6000. So that's what I used for this one. Okay, so you're gonna put it on the lining just on the inside like such on both sides you're gonna glue those down and make sure you're doing the up and down up and down and the same with the lower bottoms so once you get those glued on you will actually go and put the front of it on I know I didn't glue them but So this will be the part and it fits pretty good. Now you can do a bottom. I'm not gonna buy a bunch of Jenga's just for the bottom because you're gonna have to probably put probably uh, almost a box underneath. I'm already at, I'm just over, um, I've used three boxes so far. I have sides drying right now and I will show you those which will go on an angle here and there'll be a bigger angle on top. So what I'm gonna do now, and I will I will take some pictures. I did some sticky notes and I have them laid down flat so you can count the numbers. It's a little bit easier. That's on my Crafty Shopper on Facebook. You can look that up and I will have, I will have it posted there as well with pictures. So let me get this all glued on and then we'll work on the sides. Okay, now I have it together. It's actually, I love this glue that I tried. This is gonna be my number one glue, the Well Bond, love it. So when I went to glue on the sides, on the top part and the bottom part, I realized that I wanted to do the inside red only for the fact that if you like when the barn doors will be open or the top, you will see the inside. So I wanted to do, I wanted to do a color inside and I just kept it red. I will be doing the red on the outside. I've used Tuscany Red, which is from Dollar Tree, and that's what I'll be uh, using on the outside. So I will continue, I will paint this before I put the roof on so there's no cracks in anything like that. In the meantime, you can, so the roof will be in four sections. So the sides will have, sorry, the sides will be on an angle like this. I will show you what we'll do later for it. There is eight for that side. I'm just going to hang it there. Eight on the other side. And, and eight for the top is actually 16 on one side, 16 on the other, which will be on the angle on the top. So what I will do now is I'll paint this red. I think I'm going to do the roof black. I'm not sure if it's black or white. Um, probably would do the white in the barn doors. But let me get these painted. I will put, um, I always tell you on Crafty Shopper, I will do take some pictures with the numbers on them inside, uh, how many and label them. I've taken a bunch so far, so I'll keep doing that so it doesn't get too confusing. So let me get these painted, these painted, and I will show you how we will put these on. Okay, so I finished painting it red. I really loved how it turned out. I really liked the color. At first, with it not drying, it looked really bright, but I did like it, um, the finish on it. So I went ahead and I decided to do the roof and the siding black. Uh, I just painted the both sides already. So what I did is just, I used some mini Jengas. Sorry, I'm just gonna reach over here. You know the little, where's this glass? 
this little box here, the mini ones, I just used, I glued three of them together. I painted them black, not that you're gonna see them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue them. So this is the supports. You're not gonna see them when they're on there. They're just giving you the extra support. So I'm just gonna put it on, glue along the edge, both sides and let them dry uh, as well. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna put these on an angle. They don't sit too well, but the exact same thing. Oh, that's better there. I'm gonna put the other one on the other side. I'm gonna glue those. So for the filler on the inside here, I'm just gonna take a board. I don't know if you saw my, my Jenga block camper and I just used a piece of, it's pretty sturdy cardboard and I'm just gonna end up painting it red. What I did is I just took the ruler, kind of marked it on each side and end up cutting out, uh, let me just show you here, a little piece like that. So it will just glued, glue right into there and I will paint that as red and I'll just chop this up level to underneath. And I'm just gonna do those on, I'll do one big one on top and I will paint it red and the two sides. Now you can do different things. You might have, I had some little blocks like these ones just from a building set for some crafts I did. They don't actually fit the total, they don't fit the proper angle. So I am just gonna use what I just showed you. I am going to, as you can see in the roof right here, it has a crack opening and it will on the sides here. Now you can leave it like that or I'm just gonna take some Dollar Tree clay. It's just air dry clay. I am just gonna fill it in level in between the cracks and I'm gonna let it dry and then I will paint over black just to seal it off so it has a nice finish on it. Once that is done, the next thing I'm gonna do is the barn doors. Now, there's different ways you can do it. Um, with being not having the same opening, it does fit the Jenga blocks, but if you want your doors to open, um, I suggest that you either file, it would be, I guess it would be six, six on each door, that's another 12 Jenga blocks. They won't open flush because they're open and closed because they'll be a somewhat of a tight fit, but they're just a wider block, so it won't open properly. So I've decided to do, take some mini Jengas. And as you can see here, I did take another picture. I'll be on Crafty Shopper. Now I did 12 mini Jengas and then I painted them red. So they're gonna kind of be, and I'll show you in a second here. I'm just gonna lean them up here so they don't fall down. They're gonna look like sliding doors. I took a wood, this one's a square one. I believe I got it at Dollarama. You can really use anything. You can use the circular dowels. I use the square dowel, painted it black. So it will sit, and it's off even right now because these are leaning. It's gonna be glued up here with the doors. Now, if I wanted to make it look like it's hanging so it slides. Now, I don't know, I'm just gonna try to show you in the camera here. I don't know if you ever saw these. These are like little brackets, I guess you, you know, you put the wall, you put these over your wire, like a cable wire, and you nail it into your um, baseboard and it holds your wires against the wall. Well, I took the nail out and I'm gonna use them and I don't know if I'm gonna keep them black or white when I get to that point after gluing everything, they're either gonna be one way or another. I'm just gonna let them sit on top. Oh, where's the other one? Had a couple here. I took the little end part out. I can take the nail. I don't know. I have four of them somewhere. But I'm just gonna let them sit on each side so they look like they're sliding doors. I'm still debating what I'm doing with the doors. I believe I'm just gonna take paint. Um, I'm just gonna take painter's paint, I believe. And I'm just gonna do the white trim, not on the side, just on the front part a white trim with the X. I am gonna do it with paint, so I'll probably have to go over it a couple times doing the marks each way, do a thin la layer of paint. And um, I will come back to that, but first I'm gonna finish this off, show you with the clay. 
I will show you what will, how the barn doors are attached, which I believe I'm just going to glue them, glue the dowel on top, the square dowel with the little white things, but I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with the doors. So I'm just saying with the paint, I'm going to try it with the painter's tape. So if I come back and I show you it worked with the painter's tape. Now I did a test run on just some wood blocks here, as you can see, but I didn't like the line. It's too thick. So I want it thinner going all the way around and then painter's tape for an X. So then the doors have a little white X on them. So let me get this stuff glued and put some clay on it and let's see how it turns out. And I will come back, show you what I have finished and we'll go from there. All right, so I glued the stuff on. I just put a reef up here. I just put a little nail, put the rooster with some hay. The doors, I actually, they're not actually functional like sliding. I just use those wire thingies that I showed you. I did paint them black. With the doors, I just glued them right on. I actually just used the DT uh, Dollar Tree coffee sticks in the household area. I tried using the paint, um, the paint with the painter's tape, and I didn't like at all how it turned out. I just basically both sides and the two middles are the full sticks on angles the top and the bottom part i just end up cutting them and i painted them glued them on super easy to do i the clay i've painted the black as you can see on the clay worked really well uh before i forget um if you like dollar tree hauls please head over to m m hauls and more they are on youtube they do uh, quite a funny little show and they show you a lot of the great things that you can get over at uh, Dollar Tree. They are located in the U.S. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll just go over quickly the couple little props um, that I did make. Just an actual uh, corn can. Wash it out, let it dry. Jute rope all the way around. I made like coaster ends first and then just pop them on on both ends for all three of them. The, well, the famous fan or the windmill we see at Dollar Tree, I just cut it out, glued it on one dowel into a little square, drilled a hole, glued it on a couple tall dowels. I just used a little rope, tied it on. The actual water container, uh, the silo is actually made with two big water bottles cut uh one of them was just cut the top off then i glued i cut the top the second one was cut the top and the bottom and i glued them together and just spray paint the t and the top is actually just one of those little glass bowls that you find in um in the dollar tree glassware section and i just glued it right on top i put a couple of rocks because if you put two water bottles that tall they're actually going to fall over so i did put some rocks before i glued it all together the little horse I guess fence here is actually just um, just some dowels and a couple little mini mini Jenga blocks on the bottom. The three little horses are from DT and some of the other animals are from another dollar store. The, uh, the reef, if anybody wants to know where the reef is, it actually came on a sign that says uh, love or home and it's actually on the O. Uh, I just pulled the, the reef right off there and just stuck it up there. At Christmas time will be really nice to do a different scenery. I can put maybe my Jenga block truck. I do have a metal truck that has Christmas trees. I think it'd be a really good setup for Christmas. Um, if you guys like, uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. You could always head over to Crafty Shopper if you'd like to private message me there as well. And thank you for watching and have yourself a great day. Bye. See you in a week.